Hey BC, how's it going? Um, got nothing to do today, so what I'm actually going to do is uh, going to go through my entire collection, show every single album in my collection. Might be one video, who knows, right now. I'm just starting, so um, I might do a couple videos depending on how long this one is. So at a certain point, I'll probably turn it off and then continue on. But what we got in the background? Got a CD playing. Uh, soundtrack to Apocalypse by Slayer. Cool box set. Um, so let's just go start going through this. I'm not gonna edit it because it's gonna take forever, but I'm just gonna keep getting up and getting huge stacks of stuff. So showed this one last video, Almond Brothers, uh, Idol One South. Not gonna really talk about it. It's original and at at Co. I'll talk a little bit about these albums, but not not talk a ton about them. So, um, I'm on Duel, uh, two, I'm on Duel, Swai, whatever. Um, this is a French press on United Artists. The jacket, evidently, with this French press, is the the discs were pressed in. France, and then they just use the German jackets, so the jackets from Germany, that's why it's got the Liberty up there, but the discs are on United Artists. Got a U.S. press of Dance of the Lemmings, or Dancing, Dance of the Lemmings, or I guess in German it's Tanz Auf der Lemmings or something like that. It's a U.S. press on United Artists. Um, Wolf City, I think. I don't remember. I can't really read it. I think it's Wolf City. I don't know the name, but I love this record. Such This is one of their better ones. Um, Hijack on Atco, U.S. press. Uh, made in Germany by Amandul. From '75, made in Germany. Um, got Ancestors, first record, self-titled. Some heavy doom, heavy prog doom. It's just got two songs, really proggy stuff. Prog guys that like metal, you'd like this. Uh, their third album. No, I've got their second album on CD, but just got this one on vinyl. In Dreams and Times, what it's called. It's double disc. Really good stuff. That, this one's a this one's a little less metal-y than the first one. Um, got Anderson, Bruford, Wakeman, and Hal, self-titled from '89. Aphrodite's Child, uh, 666. Great concept record. Got three Asia records. You guys have all seen these. Astra. Showed these in my last video, so. Uh, Tony Ashton, John Lord. Pace Ashton Lord. This is a pretty rare Moog record. Atar Axia. Uh, the, the Unexplained. Kind of a called electronic music well, electronic musical impressions of the occult so it's actually really good too got a white label promo of in the hearing of atomic rooster awesome record I'm not gonna pull it out but it's a white label promo um, audience showed this one in my last video as well so House on the Hill. Really like this one too. Um, Audio Slave. This is the music on vinyl. This is in the original press, but it's music on vinyl press sounds great. Um, I gotta say, this was one of my bands when I was growing up. I love Audio Slave. Uh, I got their second record, Out of Exile. This is an original on blue, clear blue vinyl. Um, 
And the rarest of the pack is Revelations. This is on this clear bluish aqua vinyl. This is a pretty rare record, pretty expensive now. I got, I've actually bought it when this record came out. So I got it for like 15 bucks. So moving on. Get another huge stack over here. Ah. Uh, Bad Company, 10 from 6. Badger, one live Badger, Roger Dean cover, um, Barclay James Harvest, October on, it's got the um, embossed cover, or I don't, I don't remember what that's called, but uh, white vinyl of uh, Red Album by Baroness. White vinyl on um, blue album by Baroness, and then just plain black on uh, yellow and green. Some Beatles records. Please please me. This is like a import. This is before those recent reissues came out. This is like a. Uh, let's see. This album has been direct metal mastered from a digitally remastered original tape to give the best possible sound quality. So, I actually got this from my friend's collection. Uh, same thing. They're monos. That's the thing, they're monos. So, this is with the Beatles. And I got, uh, here's an actual UK press. This is a 80s repress, maybe, I don't know. I don't know too much about the Beatles. Stereo. Revolver, same thing. Uh, Rubber Soul, same thing. Uh, this is uh, 80s. Well, no, I guess this is late 70s. Capital. Uh, Sgt. Pepper's Perfect Condition. Um, this is the first record I ever bought. It was a reissue from like 2000. Seven or something like that. Uh, Abbey Road. So I've always kept it. I won't, I won't ever get rid of that record. Uh, the Bears. Subtitled. Got some Adrian Ballou, which he was in The Bears. Uh, Lone Rhino. And. Oh, I almost dropped that one. Uh, Mr. Music Head. Uh, let me put these up. I'll show some more. Okay. Okay. So, Black Keys. This is the limited edition 180 gram vinyl of this just plain black. Um, Thick Freakness, my black keys. Went through this phase where I bought most of their albums at the same time, around the same time. Um, Rubber Factory, I still don't have all of them, but I have most of them. Uh, my favorite, Magic Potion. Uh, Attack and Release. Everybody's seen these records. El Camino uh, and Turnbull. I don't have Brothers or the EP Chulahoma. Um, another great band. Hope they come out with some new music pretty soon. Black Mountain. That's their first record. Their second record which is probably their best uh, in the future. I don't know half the names of these albums, but. This is a great record. Very experimental. Um, third record, not as experimental, but still, I like this record. And re these records are actually really cheap. I got these at all three of these at Grimey's for like twelve bucks, and they're brand new. Um, Black Sabbath, so Warner Brothers. Uh, not the green label, but the one with the 
palm trees, I don't know what you call it, palm tree label, I don't know. Uh, Netherlands copy of Paranoid on NIMS. German Vertigo Press, uh, Masters of Reality. Then I got three of these. Um, I'm not going to take them out, but it's a picture disc. came out in like 2008 or something. Uh, I got Master of Reality, and I'll show you the other ones. Um, number four. This is a green label, Warner Brothers. Pretty good condition. I'd like to get a one that's better than this one, but that one will suffice for the time. Uh, UK import, uh, attention, fine one. This is a earmark press from mid 2000s, I don't know. Uh, it's clear vinyl. It's an Italian import. It's clear vinyl, I already said that. I like it. And Sabotage, picture disc. Uh, technical Ecstasy, just a regular first press of the US first press. Same with Never Say Die. And then I've got the picture disc of Never Say Die. Bootleg, Still Paranoid, 75. It's a really good bootleg. That's actually a really good recording. If you've heard um, that live album they put out, let me look. It's right here, Past Lives. If you've heard this, some of the tracks from this too are from this show. So. Next we have Heaven and Hell, great record, U.S. Press, Mob Rules, U.S. Press, this is my last video, uh, Seventh Star, and the newest record. Still trying to get all the records, but it's quite a bit for now. Alright, next group. right here all right so we got this is a repress great record right here operation birth control this record is awesome I want a re original but the originals can dry your bank account um, great record blood ceremony Eldritch dark great folk metal kind of thing going on um, blue cheer it's uh, original on Phillips. With the, that's a call embossed, I believe. Could be completely wrong. But, um, yeah. Here's a great record. Uh, blues image open. Really heavy blues stuff. Um, this record is one of my top records right now. Love this record. Blues Pills, self-titled. Great record. A little pricey, but worth it. Uh, Steve Brodsky, he's the lead singer from Caveman. Right now he's playing in Mutoid Man, but this is his first solo record from... I don't even know what year this is from. This is a clear vinyl version. It's a, uh, Exposure Overdance. Uh, Bill Bruford, Feels Good to Me. I don't even think I've listened to this all the way through. These two Bill Bruford records are good. Um, Bruford tapes recorded live on some radio station, I don't know, but it's it's awesome. Uh, Earthworks, Bill Bruford's Earthworks. It's from 87. Really good jazz stuff. Here's one of my favorite bands, uh, first press U.S. first U.S. first press, uh, Budgie. Uh, found these for great prices too. One of these in Nashville, Great Escape for 25 bucks each. This one 
and squawk. And they're just dead mint copies. And then I've got uh, Never Turn Your Back on Friend in the UK Press. Uh, UK Press of In for the Kill. Uh, Canadian Press of Vandalier. Uh, if I were in Britannica, I'd waive the rules. Uh, this one's a little rough. I'd like to get a better copy of this, but it's US, US Press paid three bucks for this one. So, um, uh, impeccable. Nightfly. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy about these '80s ones, but they're still pretty good. And then, Deliver Us from Evil. These are imports, both of these. Um, Camel stuff now. I don't have their first record, but here's Mirage on Passport. Snow Goose. Um, Moon Madness. I don't have all of Camel's records, but I have a good majority of them. Um, a live record. This is a cool record. This one is just a bunch of songs from different albums, and then uh, the disc two is the whole Snow Goose Live. So, uh, Breathless. You can actually find this record pretty cheap. Uh, nude. This is a French press. Um, single Factor. And then the best of Camel is the German. You can kind of see, but there's a chameleon on it, if you can see that. Uh, okay, next group. Sad thing is, I'm still on the first shelf level. Uh, US, original US press of Igibum Yasi. Iggy, I don't know. I take German, but I can't even pronounce that. Uh, soon over Babaluma. So you uh, original U.S. press. Only have four can records. Um, opener and Cannibalism. Um, canned Heat. Uh, boogie with Canned Heat. Um, this is an 80s press from 86, UK. Pretty cool. Um, he's back on black. Uh, Cannibal Corpse, Tomb of the Mutilated. Great, um, death metal record. Um, it's on purple vinyl. Sounds great. Captain Beyond, great record. Um, Sufficiently breathless, Captain Beyond. Dawn Explosion. I've got a ton of Caribbean records. What? Okay. Um, I'll stop after the Caribbean records. Um, first record, this is uh, Music on Vinyl Press. This is on Four Men with Beards. Second record. Original on London. Uh, in Atlanta, gray and pink. Perfect copy. Um, Waterloo Lily. Great record. Um, the live record. Uh, Cunning Stunts. Here's a. Canterbury Tales, The Best of Caravan. Uh, Blind Dog at St. Dunstan's. Uh, better by far. Show of Our Lives. Say another compilation. Um, back to Front. And it's a bootleg, the unauthorized breakfast item. So, yeah. Uh, Till next video.